Well done yesterday for your work, children. And today, I've got a different background. I've got a calligram background. So let's have a look what this one says. Shines bright, darkness in the night, twinkles and winks above. And the calligram is a star. So what calligram are you going to do? Let's share the screen with some ideas. Okay, I like this one because of the pretty pictures in here. So this one is fluffy. The words are fluffy. Wiggly. The words are wiggly. Hard. Oh, that does look hard, doesn't it? That word does look hard. Hot. Oh, they are burning. They're hot, those burning, burning words. Smooth. Prickly. Ouch. Chubby. Curly. Squishy. Furry. Spiky. Dripping. Wiry. Fuzzy. Leafy. But this is what you're going to have to do now. The next one you're going to do is a calligram or a shape poem representing the topic of the poem. Let's have a look. It's cold outside. I don't want to go outside and play. But mum says I have to anyway. It's starting to snow. Bruh! And I'm going to freeze. Bruh! I hate playing outside on days like this. Bruh! Wait a sec. I've got the most amazing, br 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 brilliant idea. I'll cover myself up in snow. <gasps> and I'll hide here. Snowman. We've had the star one. Oh, I like the stars shining. Okay, so remember the color, position of the words, the shape the poem makes. Up to you how you do it. You can fill a shape or you can draw a shape like this, like the star. Or you can do the snowman and do it inside the shape of the snowman, just a description. So Standing under the bridge, the river ripples beside me. I shiver and look out at the pouring rain. You could be standing on a bridge. You could be the bridge. You could be a cloud. You could be the rain. My teddy is my best friend. My f his fat tummy is made for hugging when I'm happy or sad. His big ears listen to my secrets. Soft paws, fluffy fur, bright eyes. I think he knows everything about me. I could just do his ears and his hands could have that writing on falling leaves swaying fluttering rustling underfoot drifting into piles like autumnal snow i miss the green leaves when will it be spring again you could do the tree bit at the bottom of the trunk just up and down up and down up and down and then draw and flat the leaves around it okay up to you we have a good idea do you have a good idea let's have a look so we know the three one here, the teddy, standing on the bridge and it raining and the falling leaves. We've got those three. Mm, now what are we going to do? The teddy bear. This is the teddy bear. There's your page for the teddy bear. Wow. You could do a drawing of a big teddy and his ears could be the writing and his arms and his legs could be the writing. Standing under the bridge, the river ripples beside you. Could do a bridge. I shiver and look out at the pouring rain. So it's a bridge. You could do here, and then you could do the words over the bridge or under the bridge. The words going up and down in the water. Then the falling leaves swaying, fluttering, rustling underfoot, drifting into paths like autumnal snow. I miss the green leaves. When will it be spring again? You could do lots and lots of leaves, couldn't you? Falling to the ground. And instead of drawing the leaf, you could write the words around. Okay. So, have a little think. You can do the star like this, or you could do the inside of a snowman. Remember those two? Good luck, and I look forward to reading them later.